Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Blend Series. Today, I picked a selection for you guys that I want to tie the Spring Simply Casual Selection. None other, nothing else that you need when you are a casual person with subdued attitude and subdued personality, but also want to become a aficionado of fragrances. This is a scent profile of just great intent, great ambition, and great fortitude. If this sounds like the type of content you think you'll enjoy, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dry Down. This is the channel where we aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuances of scent, cigar, and wine. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. Today, I'm gonna to give you guys a Simply Casual Blend Series, a masterclass on building your wardrobe for events in your life that keep you to a subdued and casual feel, but also a feel of playfulness and gentleness. Today, I think this series is gonna be one of those fragrance profiles that anyone can pick up Nothing going to go over their heads. Nothing's going to be too intrusive into their personality type. And it's going to be an all around, very comfortable, casual scent profile wardrobe for you guys. So first off, I'm going to go into the blend. The B series, the business is a scent by Ormond Jane, a house that I love, a very wonderful British gentleman fragrance building um, brand. They build great charismatic scents that bring to the forefront a gentleman's present while still keeping some of their fragrances simply casual which i love about this one and so for me the b the business part of the amber royale is one of those fragrances. it's a very inviting opening of green notes spiciness and slight floral touches this is an ambroxan heavy scent but it's subdued by its floral nature of the mid what you get in this particular scent is very spicy, very floral, woody, creamy, and sweet. It's a scent that you can wear to any occasion that brings business to the fore while keeping it casual. This you can wear anything from a blazer, no tie. I would not wear in a business setting with this particular scent. You don't need a tie. You don't need to have a button up. You can go casual as you feel. Sweats, whatever it is that you wear in business, if you're a person that has the upscale, opulent, but understated luxury, the new vintage luxury, this is a scent that takes that by storm and uses its benefit to allure contracts, allure clients, and allure customers. This is a scent that goes very well, as I said, because of the ambroxan and musk mist in the base with a slight touch of um, heady patchouli. It also has amber in the mid, orchid, Oris butter, rose, osmanthus, and jasmine all in the mid. So what Giza showing the perfumer of this particular scent did, he took the DNA of a classic fougere in the opening, the DNA of a classic masculine gentleman scent in the face, and added a floral touch in the heart. And the floral touch in the heart spreads itself in its wings in both ways to the four of the opening top notes and the bass notes, giving it such a alluring appeal, but keeping it casual while still giving you an elevated presence about yourself. Nothing to play around with, but also just something very, very warm, spicy, sweet, and floral. And let's not forget the woodiness from this particular scent. This is one of my favorite Ambroxan scents. This goes along, if you have heard of or smelled another 13, or some of the other Ambroxan heavy fragrances that have a floral touch to them, this is that particular type of scent. The Osmanthus gives it a nice fruity touch to it, that floral fruity touch, the orchid, iris gives it a headiness to it along with the patchouli the rose gives it its elegance the jasmine gives it its appeal and the lure very nice scent for business this is amber royale by ormond jane a business scent that you can't go wrong with when you're going to keep it simply casual and build a master class great scent next up guys what i have here for you is a scent by the house of navitus parfums this is a scent done in collaboration with another of the good guys that is in YouTube as a presenter and now becoming a perfumer um, powerhouse himself with so many presentations he's coming out with. Congratulations to you, Bowtie Fragrance Guy. This is a scent, this is Obot. 
It has now been changed to the name of Lyric, I believe, because of name changes in the uh, trademarking of names. It becomes Lyric, L-Y-R-I-K. But this is one of those scents that Dominique Ropion and Julian Resquinet put together in conjunction with Nebutus and Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And this is one of those scents. This is the leisure scent for me. And in the springtime, the casualness yet upscale appeal of a bot is it phenomenal. This is a compliment magnet fragrance that I pulled out last year and got no less than one compliment per wearing. That's what I love to wear in a leisure setting. It gives me the appeal of going from my day-to-day -day life, day-to-day -day business, day-to-day -day living. That can be from the gym, office running, client facing. That can be even just going and just relaxing with a loved one, with a friend, having coffee dates, having dinner dates, having drink dates. Anything you want to do as a leisure appealing scent, you can do it even sporting. This is one of those fragrances that is a Swiss Army knife of a fragrance that has so much beauty and appeal to it and just is a compliment magnet. It opens with so many authentic smells from Indian cardamom, Italian bergamot, Sicilian lemon, which is a fresh and beautiful enveloping environment for you to just spray on an initialness. Then it goes into a nice, sweet, earthy mid or heart notes of almond, caraway, a slight hit of jasmine and Madagascar pepper, which gives it a spiciness, but also an enveloping roundness to the actual opening and heart notes, which then takes it into the just the centrifuge of the scent, which is the base notes, which is a um, a cinnamon accord mixed with musk and toffee. So this is one that has a slight touch of gourmand feel to it, but never takes you out of the casual upscale appeal of a fragrance. The caraway and the toffee is what makes it its compliment magnet, especially when you get around women. This leisure scent is one simply casual once again. Building your fragrance wardrobe, you can't go wrong with a scent like this to keep it casual, keep it date night. This is leisure. But all in all, for me, this is one of those scents that takes away and is a superpower type of fragrance. That is Navitus Parfums Obad slash Lyric. And next up, ladies and gentlemen, what I have for you guys today in the E, the Evening Elegant Scent. This is one of those spectacular fragrance profiles from the House of Clive Christian. That is another British London house that puts together fragrances in such a classic and classy way. This is another one on the list done by Geza Schoen. Geza Schoen is one of those fragrance perfumers who has made a He's actually kicked in the door with his brand of Molecule fragrances that we all know about, like Molecule 0102. But this one here, I just, when I first smelled this in the air on someone walking through Neiman Marcus, I had to go straight to the counter and purchase it. This is an elegant fragrance that gives any man the appeal that he desires. This can be the most appealing signature scent for any man in his age 25 and up. This is a spectacular scent that is spicy, woody, green, floral, and fruity indeed. It opens with a fresh cardamom pod, bergamot, and ginger. And you guys know, like I talked about in the last video, when we talk about ginger now, it's so many fragrances that have been on the market that have a place in using ginger profiles that are great, and I would say grand in some cases. This here is one of them. It opens with a burst of ginger and black pepper, sweet pink pepper, it then transitions to a heart that has a sweet, warming, cinnamon, Egyptian jasmine, and orris root with a nice violet touch to give it that just enhancement of intrigue and interest. It's, it's overall, it gives you a spicy woodiness to this particular scent. So overall, when it dries down, the base is about cedar, moss, vanilla, vetiver, and cedar wood with a slight hint of that jasmine and ginger that carries along from the opening top to the mid and the heart all carry to the base and gives you a spectacular elegant scent that you can wear and just look at the bottle the bottle screams elegance the crown the jet black opaque bottle with the gold writing this is a very very great signature scent i've had this one in my collection for about nine years now and it is still one that keeps on going just keeps on going keeps on going it's one of those style of fragrances that creates a fetish for a woman as well she smells this and it becomes catnip very sexy, very appealing, a scent that anyone that is the age of 25, like I said, up could take and turn to a very elegant upscale scent. A great scent to your addition in your wardrobe as an elegant evening scent that you won't be able to go without once you smell it. Great scent. 
Once again, that is Clive Christian's X, the masculine X. Spicy, woody, floral, clean, fruity, green, beautiful scent. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, I have a fragrance here that you won't hear anyone else in Fragcom, in YouTube, in Instagram speak about at all. This is a fragrance perfumed by one of my favorite perfumers, Maurice Roussel. Maurice Roussel was contracted by Wear Me, which is U-E-R-M-I. This is my tuxedo. And when you hear the name, you get what the context is gonna be. This is a very, very sexy evening date night fragrance that is beautiful for nights out. A casual scent. So what this is for springtime wear, springtime evening wear, I would say any man from the age of 25 and up from 6 p.m. and later in the evening, going through spring temperatures to about 80 degrees, maybe 75-ish degrees, this is a smoky, sweet, resinous, gourmand, spicy fragrance that is phenomenally made by Maurice Roussel for Wear Me. This is what he built it off of the opening. You get cardamom and bergamot. It blasts, I mean, the, the effervescence feel of the cardamom note, the fresh cardamom pod and bergamot is so inviting, so alluring, and just one of those appealing fragrances that gives an exquisite feel to your evening while also giving you an invitation for touching and feeling and being close. This is a one to two spray fragrance on the each side of the neck, maybe one on the wrist and just keep, cause the actual projection of this particular fragrance is so powerful that you only need the 30 mil as well. He then made this with a heart of jasmine and that's a consistent run through of most of these fragrances. You're gonna see a jasmine mix for masculine men that have so much appeal. But also these fragrances, the actual three or four of these that I showed you could be a unisex appealing fragrance for a woman that has that type of je ne sais quoi about herself. So, getting back to this one, Wear Me is one of those fragrances that is very much so buttoned up but still casual. This is a casual knit, this is a casual blazer, this is a nice linen outfit. This is a evening wear fragrance that gives your date the just invitation to touch like I stated. It then goes into what is the shining star of this particular set, the base accords from a jasmine and bergamot holding on tight, adding itself to a musk tobacco bourbon. The musk tobacco bourbon is a liqueur bourbon tobacco scent that they came up with on their own and added to the fragrance. This is an accord that is made up of sweet tobacco, warm resinous, sexy musk, and a clean vetiver accord in the base. This is one of those scents, like I said, it is, even to my nose here, smelling it this close doesn't give it justice. Trying to give you what you will get from a scent profile, this is one of those scents that at two feet, it is one of the best smelling date night fragrances that you can have. And that is something that I take pride in bringing to you guys. I know a lot of you guys want date night fragrances, a lot of you guys want fragrances for appeal, sex appeal at that. And this is one of those fragrances that is not on everybody's list, not on everybody's wardrobe. No people are talking about this particular fragrance at all. And for me, the master perfumer Maurice Roussel made a gem out of this particular scent. I'm telling you right now, if you see this video and you pick up my tuxedo, you may have to order it from the Italian site. It might take three weeks to get here because not many people carry it here in the States. But once you get it, you will not be disappointed by what you smell. Jasmine, bergamot, cardamom, spicy up top, floral heart, resinous, sexy, smoky, woody base. Great for spring date nights. One to two sprays, you can't go wrong with the scent in the evening. A great scent, I love what they did with Maurice Purcell and the company where we did with this particular scent. My Tuxedo is a phenomenal date night scent. And that is the end for Nights Out. Next up, what we're gonna give you guys is the Daily Driver. So gentlemen, as always, you know I love to give you a phenomenal, well, in my opinion, a phenomenal scent that is a daily driver for any man that has a casual appeal. This is it. This is the simply casual Bulgari man, the actual first iteration of what has become a phenomenal, phenomenal collection of fragrances for Bulgari. 
This is the, the head, the capstone with made Bulgari Man, whatever it is today, from Bulgari Black, Bulgari Black Essence, Bulgari Glacier, Bulgari Rain. The list goes on and on of fragrance drops from the 2010 release of Bulgari Man, which this is my second bottle of for great daily wear, simply casual, simply just pick up and go, don't reach type of fragrance that smells phenomenal in my honest opinion. This one in itself is a woody, fresh, just effervescent, spicy and green citrus style fragrance. Done just perf just perfectly. The actual, the essence of this particular scent that makes it a beautiful daily driver for me is the way that they use white honey, white pear, sandalwood, and blonde woods. It's a very nice, gentle, daily drive where you got all kinds of just tonka bean, violet leaf. The violet leaf in this one is not like the floral violet. This one is more like the actual violet leaf that you'll get in green Irish tweed. The bergamot stays. But like I said, the overall essence of Bulgari Man for me is the actual way that they use the aforementioned notes of white pear, white honey, and white blonde woods. Those are notes that you don't see picked up often in fragrances, and I can't tell you why, because simply they work. As a casual, just daily driver scent, this is one that you can pick up right now. I am certain that you can pick this fragrance up for about $60 in 100 ml form. Last you for two or three years if you use it as a daily driver with one or two, maybe three sprays. And you won't go wrong with it. It's a great scent, casual. It's not something that is not common. I can't say that it's not a common scent, but at the same time, it has a peel that in the dry down, it smells a bit different than most, which I like about it. Very just bergamot, peppers, woodiness, freshness, spicy, green, and citrus. A great scent for anyone that needs a daily driver fragrance under $60, but still has their wardrobe to fall back on and use to their their appeal. This is a great for the office, great for evenings, great for leisureness, and great as a life fragrance for daily drive. Once again, that is the Bulgari Man. That is the initial scent, the actual headstone for the Bulgari Man series. And I think everyone should get their nose on it, especially at this price point. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been my conversation with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this blend list. This was and is the Simply Casual list for anyone who wants to get their nose on fragrances to keep them into a, just a casual feel, but also gives them striking elegance while being a non-divisive type of scent. Cause some scents that I produce for you guys can be a bit in the uh, just vivacious, robust type of style of fragrances. And those are to my appeal. And I see many of you have enjoyed those fragrances by clapping in, tapping in and tell me how much you love them, but also, we here in the community know that all men don't want to smell of all things, but some just want to keep it casual, some want to keep it simple, and some want to keep it just reachable for themselves. And this is a wardrobe building list that is the masterclass list, along with the others. And if you start to look at the blends various one through five, you will understand that what you can pick from any B, L, E, N, or D will give you a perfect fragrance wardrobe. This is the masterclass. This is the blend list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you did find anything educational or entertaining about this particular video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell. I have more content to come as always and can't wait to see you guys in that video. Be blessed. Have a good one.